today's lesson is all about markups and discounts. And this really is an everyday life occurrence. When you go shopping or if you own a business, markups and discounts are going to be extremely important to you. So uh, you're going to need your spiral notebook and calculator. So go ahead and grab those things and then come on back and we'll go over and do some problems together. All right, now it's real important that you understand these vocabulary words. You're going to hear me use these words, profit, wholesale price, and resale price. In these examples and also in the classroom. So go ahead and pause the video and make sure that you fully understand the definitions. And if you don't, go ahead and ask your parents and see if they can kind of fine tune that for you. All right, so profit is of course how much a, a company is going to make. If you are a profitable business, you are making a lot of profit. You are really earning money for your business, okay? Wholesale price is how much the company actually pays for the product. If a company is buying this calculator and gonna sell it to you, they're not gonna buy it for $10 and sell it to you for $10. They wouldn't make any money in that deal. They might buy it for $10 and sell it to you for $15 so that they can make some extra money. That's the profit. The wholesale price is how much they actually purchase it for. $10 is the wholesale price. I'm gonna make a profit of $5 and sell it to you for 15. The retail price is how much I'm selling it to you for. Make sure you understand those words. All right, we're gonna start here with markups, okay? Markups is an increase in a price. A company has to do markups in order to make a profit. So here's an example, and I know this kind of looks weird. I'm working my way up because I really wanted to show you that the price gets bigger when you have a markup. It increases. Here's the wholesale price of a CD. A company might buy a CD for $10.15. Now, they're not going to sell it to you for $10.15 because they want to make a profit. So they're going to mark it up 67%. Seems kind of like a large markup, doesn't it? Well, how much is that really? In order to figure that out, you're going to do $10.15 in your calculator times 0.67. Did you notice that I took the percent and changed it to a decimal? Go ahead and multiply that out. That's how much profit the company is going to make on that CD. They're going to make $6.80. So, the retail price is going to be how much they paid for it plus how much they want to make, and that's how much they're going to sell it to you for. When you do a markup, you're always going to add those two numbers. How much did they buy it for? How much of profit are they going to make? And that's going to be your retail price. Go ahead and try this one. Pause the video, work it out on your own, and then come on back. And I'll go over it with you and see how you did. All right, here's the wholesale price for this mouse is $6, okay? They're going to make a profit. They want to try to increase the price 75% so that they can make some money. So here's how you do that. $6 times 0.75. Notice I changed the, dec the percent to a decimal, okay? When you do that, did you get $4.50? That's how much money they are going to make on the mouse. So, since it's a markup, we're going to add. Take the price that it started at and add the $4.50. Did you get $10.50 for your retail price? I hope so. That's how much they are going to sell it to you for. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at discounts now. A discount is a decrease. As a shopper and a consumer, we love decreases. That means we're paying less money. The price is going to go down. So here's my price that it normally would sell for in the, in the store. But the store is going to put it on sale. It's going to tell me a discount. Okay? And then this is the price I actually have to pay at the register. That makes me kind of excited when we see a sale price. So we do the price that it started out times the percent of a discount. Notice again, percent is changed to a decimal. And now, because the price is going down, it's a subtraction problem. You subtract how much did it start out, how much am I going to save, 
and now how much am I going to pay? Go ahead and pause the video. Give this one, this one a try. And remember, this is a discount. You get to save money on this process, so you're subtracting. Come on back and we'll go over it when you're done. All right. Did you figure out $39.95 for that video game? How much are you going to save? Notice the decimal there. It's $7.99 is what you're going to save. Okay? And the question is, what's the new sale price? So we're going to take the original price, and now we're subtracting, because we're saving money, $7.99. So the new retail price, $31.96. That's how much you're going to pay at the register. Sounds like a lucky day. All right, go ahead and try these three problems on your own. Pause the video, pay close attention to the words. Remember, a markup, you're going to add because the price goes up. A discount, you're going to subtract because the price goes down. Try them on your own, and then come on back and we'll go over them. All right, let's see. You should have done $1.50 times the decimal. And that means you are, let's see, it's a profit of $1.05. So you add $1.50 plus the $1.05, because notice it says markup, the price is going up. So that gives you a total of $2.55. Okay? This one is a discount, so you want to do $100 times 0.27. That's how much you're going to save. <coughs> and then you're going to take the original price and subtract how much you're going to save. So your new price, you don't have to pay $100, you only have to pay $73. All right, and this last one, this was a tricky one. When you put that percent into a decimal, did you move it over two spaces? Remember, it's 0 .05, right? Not 0 .5, 0 .5 would be 50%. Remember, you got to move it over two spaces. Okay, so that's how much you're going to save. Let's see if I round it. It's 42 cents. Not that much of a savings, but it's not a very um, expensive item either. So once you take the price and subtract, because it's a discount, the 42 cents, I have to pay $8.07. We're going to do some more practice problems in class. See you soon.